Kenny Stubberfield, there's a new basketball league called Unrivaled. Name is dope as hell. Name is dope as hell, bro. Name is dope. And it's starting this, starting in January, Kenny Stubberfield. This is uh, possibly happening to uh, start playing in January. It is a women's professional three-on-three, six-team league. Holy crap. Co-founded by who? Two WNBA players, Brianna Stewart and uh, Nafisa Collier. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm saying that's that exactly correctly. right. Nafisa Collier. Yep. All right. Uh, like I said, man, they said that they will be paying ladies more than the WNBA is playing. But what else did I say that's interesting, Kenny? They are playing in January. They will be playing at the same time as the NBA. And I've said this for a long time, right? In the NBA's efforts to promote the WNBA, right? I've always said this. I ain't gonna say always. I really just started caring. But <laughs> I've, I've said this as long as I've cared, Kenny Stubblefield. If you want the WNBA to be good, to mimic the NBA, to be promoted the best as possible, play it at the same time as these ladies do. And I know the reason why they do it now is because they say, well, we allow them an opportunity to go play in other leagues, and then they can come play in our league in the summer. But what it does is these ladies who just finished college basketball it looks like a summer league. It looks like it, you're, you're making it look amateur because they they just finished playing college basketball and now they're playing immediately in this league. And it's been a great season so far. We've seen a lot of great things happen. But I've always said that if you partner these games alongside the same season, same time, or at least start at the same time as, as the guys play or come in in January after Christmas or whatever you're doing, I think the timing of this league is perfect. And I think that these ladies are – this league is gonna blow up, man, because it's it's going really gonna they're probably really gonna be able to show their skill in a whole nother level. I don't I hope it's not gimmicky and silly like the three on like the big three is, but I think I think there's something where you can kind of expand their their talent but not look silly like the the big three looks at times. But I think this is something that could be great. I don't think this story is getting nearly as much attention as it should because these are WNBA players saying, you know, we're about to make a league <laughs> that's gonna be competitive with the WBA. And it. I love it, bro. I absolutely love this idea. I hope this blows the hell up for sure. Salute to these ladies for doing this. And you, like I said, you got three on three, three in the six leagues, probably going to be five ladies per teams. You, If you can mess around and get the top 30 stars in the WNBA and put them on these teams, this might be, hey, this might be the shit, bro. Like for real though, like for real though. Because people are, especially for your casuals who, I've kind of reduced this to a, like really a stars league anyway, like the names. They're just kind of chasing the names anyway with this type of stuff. I really think they can. This league might be crazy, bro. This might be. And these are ladies saying, you know what? We're not gonna keep taking you, you guys, um, um, <laughs> middle class <laughs> salary <laughs> ass jobs. You know what I mean? Like, right. let's go, let's go make money off our, off our own asses, bro. Like for real though. And and do you and, think and this think, started with? Do you think this started with uh, Ice Cube's offer to Caitlin Clark? I think it. I think it might have opened up some eyes for sure. I mean, I think 100%. it'd be silly to, to think that it didn't. You know? And I think that, um, yeah, and I think I think some people got together and said, you know what, we can make this happen because it's it's probably so minimal to get to the startup going. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, because you got people like what happened in in Vegas, right? Who the people want to pay the hundred thousand dollars salaries for these ladies, and it got got all that hustle. Okay, hassle. All right. I got you. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll make that happen for sure. But yeah, man, like I said, great story. I love it. I'm here for yeah. it. I want to see what that turns into.